Take a look at this. A blade of mercy? I remember these. You see them in the Imperium. Replicas of the sword Archon Hasarian used to kill Andraste. This one looks finely crafted. It seems like a regular sword. Here, let me show you. Oh, it glows like you These do. These are gifts of honor, given to those who have performed a service for the Imperium. Denarius coveted them, as I recall. This could come in handy. Without a doubt. I certainly don't want anything to do with it. Alright. Now, the funny thing is, the reason you wanted to keep the Blade of Mercy for yourself is because it's more powerful if you don't restrict it to Fenris. I enjoy following you. All right. All right. What I all right. So Isabella is next, which means we got. Oh, that's right. I, I I was being dumb. I was being dumb. <coughs> Believe me, I save my game frequently. You know I do. Attacks ignore any honor, and enemies cannot dodge attack. Oh, wow. That's actually a really good ability. It's a really good ability. Foul and Din. Okay. Sundering. And hey, Blade of Mercy, why not? I could also give it a tax to ignore enemy armor now I think about it.
<clears throat> the torch of Fallon Din looks so good on my back. It really does. Oof. <coughs> You have such pretty... That's his room over there. Don't botch this. You worry about your part, I'll worry about mine. Now, this <coughs> needs to be convincing. And you'll need to get creative. Call me names, even hit me. Stick with it, no matter what I do. Velasco's a clever son of a bitch. If you waver, he'll notice. I'll make it convincing. Not to worry. Uh... Now you're making me nervous. What do you want? Whatever you, what do, you want from me, Isabella? Just make sure he takes me to Castillon. I'll leave a trail for you to follow. <coughs> I think you and Isabella can handle it from here. Oh. Yeah, even the prostitutes don't want anything to do with you, buddy. What? Get back here, you... Get this bitch. Yeah, but you, you should still you treat your workers with respect. Don't just act I like that. Present for Castile. Present for what? <coughs> you should see the look on your face. This wasn't the plan. We were going to kill him. Shut up. Oh. I've waited a long time to do that. <laughs> I'd love to finish the job, but Castillon will never forgive me. Castillon will be pleased. He's been looking for Isabella for some time. Yeah, no problem. A token of our appreciation. It's more than she is worth. Ah. <laughs> I. D. To the rescue, then. We just got six gold. Oh, yeah, we got six gold for turning in someone. To okay, right. <laughs> Make it work. No. All right. Yeah, you don't have to click on all of them, thankfully. Not really. All right. This is okay. So you have to find a way to bring this. Find the trail of your partner mechanic again and it's like Justice doesn't let me get drunk anymore. I kind of miss it. Believe me, the last thing you need to do is get drunk. You are a rebel. I follow her she. Isabella's leading me to the docks. Alright. 
All over the place, huh? Alright, the Rain Man. But we'll take care of them later. <coughs> like, Strip, I'm just not gonna bother with the gangs right now. something out. If you're good, I'll tell Castillon to go easy on you. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, I do have standards. You're going to do whatever I want. I own you. You sure about that? <laughs> you! I knew the bitch was up to something! Oh, well, <sighs> honestly, this is such a, but it was Tuesday for me moment. Hey, Velasco, bye, Velasco. <coughs> Look at how much fire you're on. All right. Velasco sent word to Castillon. He's on his way. <coughs> Let's look around first. I want to know why he's in Kirkwall. Do it. So Castillon's looking to expand his slaving business. Why am I not surprised? These documents should go to the guard. We'll at least arrest his accomplices. Yeah, they should. You told me you were all tied up. A lovely present just waiting to be opened. I see he's paid for that little mistake. What a pretty smear <coughs> he makes. Well played, Isabella. Crossed and double crossed. You want to talk? Maybe we should talk about these documents. Slavery yeah, but we only. They're not going we to only have one Get to the point. fate for all slavers Give here. Me your ship and your word to leave me alone, and you can take these papers and go. If you want the ship, can't we just kill him and take it? Yeah, that's a good question. You don't just kill a man and take his ship. That's crude and amateurish. How will he tell everyone how I bested him if he's dead? Can you trust him? He trades. <coughs> Castillon's a businessman. Unfortunately, a yeah. We get right down to it. Technically, all crime is not organized. Crime is business. Really crime. I'm serious. What happened to getting rid of Castillo? I am getting rid of him. Through peaceful means. Coming from here, that's priceless. I saw the ship docked in the harbor, Castillon. She is splendid. I want her. Give me the documents, and you can have the ship. And you will never hear from me again. Swear it. I swear it on my mother's grave. 
Give me the document. No. Castillon dies here today. If I have anything to say about it. <laughs> Enough with the black. No. Man. Let's settle. He slaves people. No. Wait. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. I don't care if you, you're just gonna go away and enslave more people. That's not gonna happen. You should never me. I literally have zero tolerance for slavers. There's literally no reason for me to like let you go. Isabella will let you go because she's weird like that, but Isabella forgot who she was talking to. The champion of Kirkwall. You frickin' bass! You frickin' bastard! Blood magic? No, I'm not a blood mage. No, I'm not a blood mage, Isabella. Because you're weird. No, I'm not a blood mage. No, I'm not. <clears throat> oh. Now, what am I supposed to do with these useless documents? I hate to state the obvious, but I could use them. <coughs> Take the blasted things. Go dispense justice or whatever. After all we've been through together, how could you do that to me? No. You know I'm right. <sighs> you are. I really hate it when you're right. All right. Uh... Okay, now we talk to Isabella. Yeah, I wasn't gonna let a person who literally works in slavery go free. That's stupid. You spent the whole game hyping this guy up as bad enough that it warranted stealing from the Kunari to get him off your back? And you want to just let him walk away? <clears throat> there are some things you can't explain with its character development. And that's one of those things I refuse to explain like that. Isabella, <laughs> my dusky goddess, you have buried your. I'm sorry, your dusky goddess. Worm in a red, red apple. You heartworm you. Oh look, my friend is here. <coughs> Excuse me. But I haven't gotten to the part where I invite you to feast upon my tender white flesh. That's all right. I think I'll manage. Speaking of romance. You and Fenris, eh? That taut, controlled body. The brooding demeanor and intense gaze. I hear he still wears the shackles from his life in bondage under his clothes. You know what they say about men like that, don't you? I don't know what they say. He can't find a saw. <laughs> I don't actually get the joke. Uh, I had you there. You thought I was going to say something dirty. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. All right, sure. Why do you always <clears throat> win at cards? <laughs> because I cheat, kitten. <laughs> this trinket. Okay. I love it's it. It's Elven, isn't it? From your clan. Don't bet anything you're not prepared to lose. Here, have it oh. back. Yeah. A jigger of your finest whiskey, <laughs> my friend over here. The hanged man's finest isn't much, but it'll get you just as drunk as hey. anything you'll find in Hightown. <laughs> That's generous of you. What's coin if not for spending, eh? 
You could save up to buy your yeah. own ship. Spend your money to put it back in the economy, Ruining people. Alpha. Spend your money. Good sense. I thought I'd have to watch myself around you, but as it turns out, you're all right. Oh, what happened to... You cast me about like a summer storm, and I loved every minute of it. <laughs> you can enjoy a person in a bedroom, but detest their company outside of it. I don't detest your company outside of the bedroom. If I had someone like you on board my ship when the storm hit, maybe we wouldn't have been shipwrecked. <clears throat> if you hadn't been shipwrecked, we wouldn't have met. That Stop thinking what could have been. It will not help you. I'll drink to that. Did you hear about what happened on Sundermount? The champion killed every elf there. I hear the ground cracked open and swallowed them whole. I don't have magic that can do that, but it sounds interesting. Okay, last but not least, we need to uh, do Sebastian's Act 3 quest. Do you never intend to give a public answer, Your Grace? What have I been asked? About the mages. Yeah, speak up you at the Mage Templar War. If you stepped forward. Even your Can't sycophant is telling me to do something by it. Those who turn against them <coughs> wouldn't listen more to me than to Andraste. Orsino and the Knight Commander will tear Kirkwall apart. They will try. I did not expect things to deteriorate so fast. I thought after the Canari, no one would wish for more violence. It has drawn more attention than I would like. Sebastian, if I can ask... Anything, Your Grace. And the Champion, too, if you will. I agree to nothing until I know what it is. I'm not your meat puppet. About the situation here. She oh, the capital the OG divine? She become another <coughs> Imperium. She has sent an agent to assess the danger. Meet with her, please. Tell her drastic measures won't be required. Don't you want an end to this? Has Kirkwall not suffered enough? Should it be declared anathema and an enemy of the Chantry? Imagine high town streets, filled not just with merit <sighs> but all the forces the Divine can command. Surely the Divine wouldn't treat the whole city as enemies. She is concerned. It is never wise to draw the concern of the powerful. She Divine Justinia just doesn't sound like the type of person that would do that, from what we know of her in Inquisition, as well as from what we know about her in Liliana's song. In the exalted marches, <coughs> she will do her best, Sebastian, but she must act first to protect the faith. What can you tell me about this servant of the Divine? I was not told her real name, only to call her Sister Nightingale. She is said to be the Divine's left hand sent to do work that might blacken the Divine's name. What argument would convince her? The Divine has heard my protests already. I must trust your own powers of persuasion now. This cannot wait. Thank you. We cannot allow this ridiculous mage rebellion to turn into holy war. The Agent. Sister Nightingale will be waiting in the Viscount's throne room tonight. She wishes to remain unseen. The room has been sealed since the Canari incident. It may be difficult to get in without attracting <clears throat> attention. Now, Sebastian isn't required for this quest, but he might as well be. 
Okay. Viscounts keep at night. Remember, what we want to do is prevent the Divines from having any reason to launch an attack on Kirkwall. No one will survive it. <coughs> Hello again, champion. The Viscount's throne room has been sealed off since his death. A strange place for a holy sister to be. Need help? So, even the Divine fears us now. She should. Kill the spy! Someone's a little too fast for you. Also, look at my dolled up Inquisition Liliana right there. They would be part of this. Are you Sister Nightingale? I am. Or you may call me Liliana. The Divine sent me to investigate the possibility of a rebellion here in Kirkwall. Without informing the guards, of course. This is an unconventional situation. I have some experience with those. The Leliana? Yeah! The What's up? The ah, I see it will be harder to remain anonymous so near the Ferelden border. Yes, I knew the hero of Ferelden. Perhaps you have heard the songs I wrote of our time together. But that was many years ago. I am working for the Divine now, in Orlais. I had not thought to return to this part of Thedas. I hardly imagined the Divine's secret agents <coughs> you. 
That is why I am effective. Hide in plain because sight. I have long suspected that Kirkwall's problems were spurred by an outside group. Like any mage with a brain can't come up with, let's rebel. And prove the Chantry's point by unleashing demons. Don't forget that part. This attack proves she is right. Are you saying you set this whole thing up? I let word slip that an agent of the Divine was coming to investigate the mage troubles. It is how they chose to react which condemns them. All right. What does she plan to do, though? Will the Divine send soldiers? Divine Justinia takes the situation here very seriously. She believes it is the worst threat to Thedas since the Cunara invaded. A handful of apostates. How can that possibly... <laughs> the whole world is watching Kirkwall. If it falls to magic, none of us are safe. None of you? Tell Elthina to leave. Man. There is refuge for her at the Grand Cathedral in Orle. She will not be safe here. Oh my god. These mages are out of control. So yeah, we never got to ask what the resolutionists were, but... Of course, Sebastian would say, these mages are out of control and never really think about anything else. The low blade. Alright. Well, more DLC gear. Premium content. But that's about all we have to say for all this. Also, these mages are not the ones out of control. Why are you not paying attention to why the mages are doing this? You're half the problem, Sebastian. Say what? You're the I saw you watching me. I was looking at the clouds. Don't give me that. I know you've been judging me. You think I'm out of control? How can I claim to speak for mages when I'm half demon myself? The one over there looks a bit like a bunny rabbit. So much faith. Does nothing bother you? You're bothering me. The Maker left us to our own devices generations ago. He's never going to step back in, start listening to our prayers again. He's gone. Doesn't that bother you? He's a merciful Lord. He could have destroyed our world when we failed him, but instead, he gave us a yeah. chance at Sleepy. redemption. Should we not be joyful? Sister Nightingale says you must leave Kirkwall. What? You were right. The Divine will be taking action against Kirkwall, though the Sister didn't <clears throat> say what. You must take the holy relics from the Chantry and leave for safety. Get out while you still can, you moron! I'm surprised at you. Andraste would not thank me for saving a few dusty finger bones and my own skin at the cost of people's lives. You keep dead people here. The Kirkwall Chantry has guarded the remains of the martyr Devrina for 800 years. They must be protected. When I became Grand Cleric, I took a vow to the people <coughs> of Kirkwall and the Free Marches. Hey, you took a I vow, right? I will not it's leave up to you my that flock. Means Would you let yourself die? There is no it's greater devotion than to lay to one's life at the Maker's something. feet. There is no better death than to take the blow for another. Exactly. 
All right, no problem. You've been warned. Do what you will. Please, Your Grace. Sister Nightingale thinks there yes. will be war. Then uh, I, think I must make peace. <sighs> Settle yourself, Sebastian. I'm in no personal danger. I am Grand. Yet. Eric. Who would dare attack me? Yes, who? If you will not shield yourself, then I will be your shield. You will come through this safely by the Maker's name. I swear it. Cloak and Dagger, Sebastian Rivalry. If Althina won't leave Kirkwall, neither will I. I can't abandon her when the Divine's own agent warned her away. Sorry about that. I was busy making sure Sebastian was had rivalry, basically, just to make sure I uh, got everything done. What about your people? They can wait. Starkhaven. Talk about Starkhaven, buddy. Kirkwall Falls. But if these Maleficarum rebel against the Night Commander, Elthina will put herself between them and be torn apart. I must try to make her see reason. This cannot end well. Yeah, I, I wanted uh, him to get a rivalry with Hawk because I feel like it fits better with what I'm trying to do with the character. I'm giving it all up. I made a vow to the Chantry, and it was wrong to turn my back. Sebastian, listen to yourself. You're as impulsive now as the day you turned away from us. Do you think the Maker wants another rashly spoken vow that you'll abandon when the next passion takes you? I will not. This is your life, child. Don't spend it being blown about like a weather vane. And here's Hawk. Oh, I never did the question police for Act Two. Heroics, no doubt. Completely forgot about that. Have you done something dumb again? No. I'm finally doing something smart. I know you don't agree, but I can't continue to break my oath. And for what? Why would I want to rule Starkhaven and deal with jackals like Lady Harriman for the rest of my life? I actually don't very much care if you... I'm... I don't really care. You don't become a prince because you want to. You do it because it's your responsibility. I do not have hubris enough to imagine it matters to the common people who rules them. Kirkwall does well enough with no one in the Viscount's seat. Someone will take the reins. The fields will be planted, the crops... Oh, get that's them. hilarious. No one will notice that a veil lives and isn't there. And I can devote my life to the Maker's will on Thedas. I can't believe you turn your back on Starkhaven now. Yeah, all we've done. seriously, don't I've do that. I've for guidance and had nothing. I cannot return to Starkhaven and subject my people to <laughs> Okay, so you can do Snat 2 and mention that. The yeah, the Viscount's death will be actually referenced here if you do Snat 2. Loyalty to the Prince. Max out his loyalty. Okay. Well, his rivalry, but alright, whatever. Hawk should do it. Kirkwall needs a Viscount. Have you asked her if she even wants that? I watched my parents in Starkhaven. When times are good, the city rules itself. Years could pass and no one would notice who's Prince. 
But when there's famine, when there's war, people look to their leaders. Who does Kirkwall have beyond Hawk? This is probably a conversation for the two of you to have. You want me to be Viscount? That's kind of you, really. The Maker is king in the heavens, but it is the kings of Thedas who must recreate his worldly glory. I keep thinking about that. Who better serves the Maker? A brother of the faith or a prince who can sway a whole city? Hmm. Uh, yeah, pretty much. More people follow the word of their king than their priest. Starkhaven needs me, but I I'm glad you see it in my way all of a sudden. Of those apostates. We must put down their rebellion and solidify the Chantry's hold. Then I can return to Starkhaven with a clean conscience. Focus on Starkhaven. Yeah, no. Leave the, leave the Templars, I mean the mages, to me. I sympathy for the rebels, but surely you must see they can't win. Frankly, both sides are despicable. I wouldn't leave the How dare the you either. both sides this genuinely gray Why political debate? I know you and Anders are. Well, it's not my place to question, but please be careful. He's a dangerous man and selfish. Whatever he promised, don't think he'll ever put you above his own needs. I cannot leave until we defeat these mages. And that's it. We've done everything. Everyone's questioning beliefs. We've gotten their friendship and rivalry maxed out. That's it. Oh, hey, my mage crew's here. Your support has meant the world to me. You know, I'm starting to think Sandal is watching me. He probably is. I hope all is well, mistress. I've been keeping everything clean. All right. Bodan, anything you gotta say for me? Things have been very troubling these last few years, haven't they? I, uh, I was thinking that it might soon be time for my boy and I to move on. Back to the merchant's life, I suppose? It's an honor to serve the champion of Kirkwall. Make no mistake, but I'm getting older. It's time to see the Sandal's future. I'll stay on until arrangements are made. I hope that's all right. No problem. If you're worried about Sandal, I can help him out. Oh, oh that's mighty kind of you, but it's unnecessary. My boy's been offered a position in Orlay. It seems the Empress has said Empress Selene wants Sandal, one of the most mysterious figures in these games, in the to be in Orlay's or Imperial Court. I wonder what Dragon Age Inquisition has to say about that. Hopefully this business with the Templars doesn't get worse before we go home. I worry about you, Miss Air. 